Up in a misty Milton Keynes, Paul Childerly is hosting a range day for Zeiss Optics. And range is the word because Zeiss has a large and complicated range of products. It's our aim to make it all a lot simpler. Yeah, so basically we're uh, just finally tuning in the last things for the start of the day. Um, we got through three events. One's a, a simulated stalking which has got 10 targets on. We've got a long range uh, event which is basically a practice area. They've got five targets going out to 480 the furthest one. And then the competition side of it is five targets and it's uh, basically again set different distances. It's great for me to hold the, the event here today because obviously Zeiss, I've been, been with Zeiss for probably uh, coming on to 10 years now actually working for them with the pro stalking, um, holding the events and doing the stuff with field sports. Um, but not only that, it's like, you know, the guys are all using Zeiss as well. Um, so it's a great way of sort of like showing people that are running gun shops or just starting off in the industry with their stalking career, um, you know, the great product. So yeah, it's a win-win really. Morning and welcome everybody uh, to the Zeiss event and to Julie Sporting. After a briefing, the team set out for quality range time. On hand is the full range of Zeiss's excellent glass in the Victory and Conquest lines. From the compact driven bore scopes to the long range specialists with BDC or ASV turrets. Plus, of course, binoculars and spotting scopes to score those hits or misses. This is going to be a test, isn't it? Feel free to have a go with a variation mark, that's what you're going for. The V number is the zoom number, so V4 scopes have four times zooms. V6, six times, and V8, yup, eight times. The bigger the zoom, the bigger the magnification, so they can be more useful for long range shooting, but they can also be more useful for short range driven hunting. And of course, the bigger the zoom, the bigger the price. But with Zeiss, you get what you pays for. When light dies in the evening and you're waiting for the deer to appear, expect to pay an extra 100 euros per minute for a scope that allows you to shoot through the gloom. V4 scopes, four times zooms, are rugged. They come with 24 times magnification plus 90% light transmission. V6 scopes are the all-rounder with up to 30 times magnification and 92% light transmission. Top of the range V8 scopes also boast 92% light transmission and have up to 35 times magnification and an incredible 60 mm objective lens in their largest size. All of the Zeiss V scopes have controllable illuminated dot and the ASV turret which solves your holdover problems with a few simple clicks. Back on the range day, and a leisurely and extremely tasty lunch is followed by long range shooting out to 500 metres. It's the perfect opportunity to try pairing the range finding binoculars with Zeiss's hunting app that precisely works out your elevation drops. It's 309 metres, so that's 18 clicks. So we're up to six, now we go eight. Uh, yeah, you can go back to zero again and then just go 18 if you like to make it simple. Perfect. I'm just trying to get into the habit of uh, using the rangefinders, um, but more importantly, connecting it up with the with the new hunting app. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people may be aware of the new rangefinders. What they may not be aware of is the Bluetooth connectivity. Right. Um, so what's unique about these RFs with a lot of other ones on the market at the moment is, uh, like I say, it connects directly with the new Zeiss hunting app uh, that you can get to download onto your phone. It's available on Android and on the Apple Store. As soon as you download the app, link it with your rangefinders via Bluetooth. Very simple connection to make. Once you do that, uh, the next step you're going to want to do is input your ballistic calculations into the phone itself, into the app. Uh, you input your rifle, uh, the ammunition you're using, and the scope that you're using, and you save that as a preset. Once you've got that preset saved, the rangefinders know that ballistic information. So when you next go out to ping a target, not only will it give you your meter or yard reading in distance, uh, but it can also give you a variety of different information, such as your click correction, and it'll give it specific to your ballistic setup. There's no guesswork involved. Seems to be pretty accurate at the minute, boys. And yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Fingers so crossed. Out, it's to, just, out uh, to 500 here, and uh, that's 100%. Pretty accurate. Bit so of wind far. here that we're, <laughs> we're allowing <laughs> for, but it's uh, we're definitely hitting the gongs as you can, as you can see. So that's that's really good. Perfect. Just at the top of the leg. 
On to the simulated stalk with Paul, and it is time to up the pressure. The only thing that scores is the gong in the centre. If it hits the ridge and goes in, that's a zero. There's no half points, it's only full strikes, okay? I am the judge. Okay, right. Okay. He did. Pulled him. Saw it. Shot. A lot of them have been saying, oh, it's actually really good actually because it's, it's, make, it's better than just shooting you know, metal targets down the range, stationary all the time, you're actually moving around. And uh, it's quite funny, these, even these guys here now, I can see they want to win. They want to, everyone wants to hit. It's quite funny. Even when I do it, you sort of like, you put pressure on yourself to actually get a good shot. And uh, even if there's no pressure at all, it's only a metal target. But um, you just put this like immense pressure on yourself so and to try to build heart, it. It gets your heart pumping, does it? It does, yeah. yeah and, uh, and then. Uh, you still miss. You still miss. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite tricky though, isn't it? It's, 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 a, it's a new sort of like dimension that believing that the bullets will go that far and believing in the kit that will it actually, you know, that dial will work. Oh. Pulled it. Once the rifle gets on the sticks, you've got 15 seconds to shoot the fox. Fox is about 80 yards along the, on the uh, belt line. I don't shoot the Chinese. Shot. Shot. Five seconds. Good shot. No messing with that one, was there? Munt Jack through the wood. Easy. Easy peasy. 15 seconds, you've got plenty of time. Shot. When you're shooting, obviously, Munch Jack, they don't stand there for 10 minutes while you get yourself focused in and steady. Munch is always moving. So basically, spot it, identify it, safe, bang. So, yeah, so that's why this like, simulator is quite good, because it gives us like, like a bit more of a real effect rather than just going on the range, plinking at tong uh, gongs all the time. To be honest with you, if you're doing it for recreation, you know, it's good to have a good bit of kit, nice bit of kit. But someone like myself, um, those like twilight hours is basically when, when good glass makes a difference or poor conditions like it was this morning. Really, really thick, misty, just horrible weather condition. It, it just you know, pays to have sort of like you know, quality glass. That's when you, know, that's when you actually uh, see the product in its best, really. Shot. Told you, didn't I? Um, have you got a favourite type of reticule that you, you prefer to use? Me, I, I like the red. I like red dot personally. Red dot. Yeah, I, I, I used them when they very, very first come out, and uh, it's a game changer for me. Just for, just for like lamping at night. It's before it's like the days of night vision and, and thermal. Um, you know, red dot. It, it was absolutely so like, deadly. Um, and now again on, on poor light. Um, it's a game changer because you can turn the illuminated reticle on and uh, you can still be confident in shooting and uh, you know doing a, a humane shot so it's good. Right then this is the final two targets boys this is the creme de la creme this is the time trial he is getting in the pheasant pen a little lighter he's a tinker look whenever you're ready Both dead, but not scored. Oh. I shot that fox. Okay. I shot that fox. Okay. 
good shot, sir. <laughs> ah, baby! Let's just make sure it can be done. Yeah. It has been a great day out with Mr Childerley and a sharp learning experience for anyone who thought Zeiss was just about good quality glass. And it, there was one point we were looking at a Mount Jack through a ride and it was real, real difficult to see the Mount Jack. But the scope, you, you dial that magnification down and bump, it was there, it was, it was as bright as if you were out in the open with it. It has been noticeable that the quality of glass and what the glass can offer over the shorter ranges that we've been shooting this morning, which is 100 metre or 100 yard and 200 yard. But it's great to have the people on hand who've got the knowledge and expertise to describe the finer points of the product that we're using and help us to get the very best from it. Today has definitely been a test for the scopes. I mean, obviously the light transmission is something that they can boast quite well and we haven't had too much light today in all honesty, but they've proved themselves definitely in these, in these well, I wouldn't say poor conditions, but not very good conditions to say the least. Um, and I said they have proved the brand and how good it is and why you spend the money on getting good, um, good scopes. But very challenging, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very challenging. It's been very, very good. Time stalking. Yeah, the wheels fell off and the <laughs> steering wheel and about everything else. But yeah, no, it's very, very good. Yeah.